Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Prairie Farms ice creams. We have the chocolate chip cookie dough. And brown butter maple. These were $4.99 a container at IGA. Uh, so not the not bad cheapest, food. but not the most not expensive. Bad. Yeah, uh, this is one and a half quarts. It's made with local milk and cream, no artificial growth hormones, no high fructose corn syrups, natural colors and flavors. They are made in Edwardsville, Illinois. Two thirds cup, 92 grams is 180 calories and there's nine servings in this container. So it's just, oh, here we go. Vanilla ice cream blended with pieces of chocolate chip cookie dough. So I'm gonna tell you right now, and these are sealed. When we open uh, Kevin's container, sealed. you will see that they are normally sealed. This one is not sealed because this doesn't. Ha this hasn't happened in a long time. But we had a little mouse come over, and that <laughs> little mouse wanted some ice cream, and so they tried the ice cream, but we did not. We yeah, ha we have not had it. I so haven't seen it. It'll <laughs> be it, yeah. So it is literally vanilla with chunks of chocolate chip cookie dough. Well, looking at it right now, it doesn't look like you get a lot. Of you do dough. not get a lot. No, you do not get a lot in here of the cookie dough. So. And we've had this sitting out for a little bit, and it still looks like it's a little tough. There we go. And uh, won't you hold that up? Because you can see. You can see the chunks. There we go. So there's, that's your chunks of cookie dough. So you can see there's a lot of vanilla around it. I'm going to try just the vanilla first since there's plenty to choose from. Um, I hate to dig in this. Well, here, here. Because I'm, I may or may not be sharing this. <laughs> Normally it's just me eating it and I don't care to eat out of the container, but I will get a piece at some point. I'm like that sometimes with these things. If I didn't know better, that tastes like maple. Huh? Ma no, sorry. That tastes like maple. Mm-hmm. That vanilla has a maple flavor. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The vanilla actually doesn't taste like plain vanilla. It yeah. tastes like maple. And yeah. it's not bad. That's the next one we're gonna have. That must mean that one's really strong. I want to try a cookie. Mm -hmm. That's good, but it does have an overall maple, maple flavor. Maple flavor. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. The cookie dough pieces are, are good texture, just like cookie dough is. Like they have a gritty texture. I think there are chips in it. I think they're firmer than some are. Yeah. But I actually really, really like this ice cream. Yeah, I do too, because the maple flavor actually adds some flavor to that vanilla. That, that, you but know, you would never flavor. be expecting that maple uh -huh. flavor. No, but it, def it definitely has a maple. Oh, absolutely, 100% it does. I, I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's something in their cookie dough that's coming off the cookie dough when they're churning it. Or right. What. Mm. But I would say that is excellent ice cream. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Very good textures and everything. So now I'll show you how these uh, these normally come uh, sealed. This is the um, uh, brown uh, butter maple, and it is brown butter ice cream swirled with a sweet maple ribbon. It is 210 calories for two thirds cup. Yeah, so this yeah, the, the mouse one, didn't want this flavor. No, so this one. Well, you have a choice. You can choose this one or this one. You don't get both. So, and I think the other one's just a more common. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. good. So it's a you, swirl. Yeah, it's a swirl, and if you look closely, you'll be able to see that darker. There you go. There Especially we go. On, the, on this my side. Okay. So now, if we thought that one had maple, yeah. this is going to be interesting. Really maple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very strong maple. I made sure I got some of that swirl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the texture. It's got these little crystals like mm -hmm. it. Yeah, a stronger maple flavor than in the, the cookie dough one for sure. 
I like this. It is definitely not a flavor that I would get week after week after mm -hmm. week. No, the maple's almost chemical like. If they had put any more maple flavoring in it, it would have been too much because yeah. it's they're they've had their toes on the line as far as that goes. But they stopped. They did stop just in time, and I think they did a good job. So you really, really get that a strong maple flavor. But it could have easily turned to a chemical too strong if, if, if they had gone any further. I agree. But the chocolate chip cookie dough, that's something that I could have all the time. Yeah. And good. I do love that hint of maple in it. Yeah, even though it doesn't say that. Does. No, I wonder <laughs> if other people, when they buy that, if they get that at mm -hmm. all. Or if it, it's just, it's just different. It's, it's very, uh, it's, it's just different. Um, but that would be one that I could have all the time, and I love the added texture anyway yeah. of the pieces. I think the maple is good, but like you said, it's not something I'd want all the time just because the maple's like it is right. pretty strong. So yeah, once you finish with that quart and a half, I would want you're gonna want to move on to a new flavor, yeah. yeah, and then come back to it because it is good. You just don't want it week after week. Right. So I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.